facts. So, this is my prediction blog for the High Stakes 2 pay-per-view done on the UW Battle League. UW Battle League is owned by Ari Swag, Arsenal of the Motherfucking Rebel. It's going down January 22nd, so we have like 12 more days for this shit. I'll begin the pay-per-view. I'm going to go in my homie's house and we're going to sit there and watch this these battles take place. So, uh, first high stakes, I, I got the pay-per-view. It was a pretty good high stakes. Rather long between intermissions and shit, but it was really it was really a good battle. So, uh, let's, let's start it off right here. Arsenal versus Chilla Jones. I'm really not excited about this battle, but, I mean, he wanted to put himself on the card. So, we're about to get Arsenal. I don't know how I feel. I mean, I mean, I know I'm not excited about this battle. I mean... I haven't seen Chilla Jones since beginning of the year or something like that. I don't know. It's been so long, he's boring to me. Like, I don't know what it is. I never liked him. I've I've never liked his. I mean, he can he has a pen, but I just I don't know. It just doesn't excite me as much like everybody else. But it is what it is. So we got Arsenal, the motherfucking disrespectful ass nigga Arsenal. You better win. You better win. Facts. He can't even get around. Because you said you was going to retire, but we haven't seen that yet. So everybody already saying you lost to Tay Rock. On your own, on your own lead. I had you winning personally, but majority of people was like, you lost. So I don't know, like, I know you have this battle. I know you have QB Black Diamond coming up. And I wouldn't fuck around. Like, if you want to lose a chiller, that's that's cool, but I wouldn't. That would be stupid for you, but you really don't want to lose to QB Black Diamond. You don't. No man has ever been beat by a girl. Don't be the first. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and give Arsenal. I'll give him 2-1. I know he's not going to 3-0. He needs to. Chella shouldn't get no round. Period. Tay Rock versus Sharon. Now, I wish this battle was on Smack. Because that's where a lot of battle rappers, Sharon is battled. If you don't know, Sharon, white boy. Canada. He's called the Smack Killer. Smack Killer for a reason. And the only one that could say that. I wouldn't sleep on Sharon. It seems like everybody that slept on Sharon got beat. I'm I I think I'm glad that it's not on Smack because if Sharon beat Tay Rock on Smack, there won't be no more Tay Rock. Facts. What's up, Jemai? Yeah, no, Rock, no 3 0. There's no 3 0 Rock, bruh. I personally. Man, fuck that bullshit. 
Sharon showed and proved. So un- until then, Sharon 2-1. Because Tay Rock just lost to Nitty in a very bad battle. A battle that we all wanted. Everybody in the battle community wanted Rock versus Nitty. And what we get. I'm waiting. What we get. I personally thought Rock lost to ours. Personally, myself. So he has to show and prove. He's kind of falling off. Now, if he wants to start sounding like Surf, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> I'm not going to start that Surf shit right now. That's an, that's for another time. I might talk about that shit tomorrow. But I hope this is going to be a classic battle. I want it to be a classic battle. So I, I'll probably go Sharon 2-1, bruh. He can say a lot about per he can say a lot about rock. What do you mean? What do you mean? Sharon don't always have to have personals. Not all the time. He really had personals get shook. Not for real. Just shit what they do in the Choking and shit, maybe that you know, nothing really personal. Watch, we gonna be in, we gonna be, we gonna be at the crib, in front of the pay per view, and we're gonna see, on January twenty second. I'm not bugging. I've been telling you, bro. This, this things I put you on, like is like, you be thinking I'm bullshitting. You be thinking I'm bullshitting. When I when I said daylight is the truth, daylight well is the truth, but now he's on some fuck shit. And I, I can't deal with fuck shit. Like I'm cool with him. You know, I liked him as a battle rapper. I thought he had bars. But you know, all this fuck shit, man. Mm-hmm. Just, sometimes you gotta stop. Alright, so I got your own two one. I mean, we're going to just be debating this this one because, yeah, 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 kind of. He kind of had mad personals. I mean, he still beat him. It doesn't matter if it's personal or not. It doesn't. Yeah, his his clown shit overshadowed him. Yep, yep, it sure did. And I, and I admit that because it's facts. I'm, you know, like, we, me and you discussed this. Like, Posey be like, surf this, surf that. I think that's Posey. I don't want to get that wrong. But surf this, surf that. Come on, bruh. Like, we see what he doing. Surf sucks right now. Like, it is what it is. He's going to get a round. He's going to get two rounds. Matter of fact, he's going to clearly beat him 2-1. I mean, we could put some money on it. We can. But anyway. So next match, we have T-Rex versus Rabby. Personally, in the beginning, it was Rabby versus Chess. Now, Rabby and Chess are two young niggas still in high school. They kind of sound the same. Like, I can hear Rad B in chess. I can hear I can hear his his voice, his flow. And I thought that would have been a dope battle. Two young gunners just going at it. Like I could on U Dub. It'd have been like it would have been like a. It would have been like. A JC, Craig Lamar, um, Ryder versus Trez. 
that type of battle. It would be, it would have been a good, you know, bar for bar type of battle. But since URL, no, I might even say URL blocked it. URL told Chess, you on some fuck shit. You're signed with us. Come on back home. You, you ain't doing that shit. Facts. Mm -hmm. Rex need to win. There's no doubt about it. Rex need to win. Because Rad B dope. He got some bars. He's fire. He was fired against DNA. Beat DNA. I feel he beat DNA. So, and I don't think nobody's going to debate me because nobody really likes DNA. But DNA being mo more consistent brings three rounds, two rounds, one round every time. Doesn't matter. So... Rex is about to, I'm going to give Rex 2-1. I ain't going to give him a body bag. I don't give him no 3-0. I'll give him 2-1. But we're going to have to see. Rex Rex came back and did some one-rounder with some whack-ass nigga in the, in the park. Like, I, I turned it off. Like, I got through Rex round, but when dude starts spitting, I, should, I was like, fuck, one-rounder, I turned this shit off. I, you clearly lost to me. Like, the first few bars, you lost to me. Like, it, it didn't matter. All right, so we'll be looking for that one, man. Now, this is the one I really want to see, too. These top, these last two. Pat Stay, the f former King of the Dot champion against DNA. This is going to be a good battle. If Pat Stay come out, and he needs to because the last time he's been in the States, he's been bombing. He's been bombing. Yeah, he's been trash. He's been trash these past few battles. Since he lost the chain, he's been trash. Okay? And I'm not a Pat Stay I'm really a past day fan, but can't say he's trash. He's been the champion. You know what I mean? So I think this is going to be some nice personals here and there. I don't think it's going to be too much because past day and DNA, they know each other. They been around each other. They battled in front of each other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, but that's his, his superpowers has gone away since outside of Canada. That's, but I don't know. I don't know who's going to win this battle. If DNA come like you've been doing Chef, Chef Trez this year, last year. Danger zone. It's a wrap. I'll give I'll give that a clear two one because I don't see mm -hmm. they not getting a a round. So that's what we gonna do. Past day and DNA. DNA two one. Sounds a little bit right to me. So, the last matchup of the motherfucking night. The last matchup. Hitman motherfucking holla versus Shotgun Shug. What are we going to do about that? Huh, people? What are we going to do about that? Haven't been waiting for this battle. Facts. What's up, cuz?
certain technical difficulties. Haven't we been waiting for this battle? For about four or five years? And Smack URL try to promote this battle? Did Shotgun Shug take shots at Hitman out of all his battles for the last four or five years? Did Hitman fire shots at Shotgun Shug in all his battles for four or five years? I think so. This shit should have been on smack. What about that? Facts. But no, they don't want to fuck with him, man. Why? I don't know. You know, he's they. that's a payday once you put him back on URL where he belongs. Facts. Niggas be bugging. But again, you dub grudge my match of the year. I don't know who I want. I don't. But you know what? I either got it a clear 2-1 hitman or a body bag. Because let's face it, Shotgun Shook has been spitting the same bullshit, just finding a different way to say it. Nigga, you're not that old for you to be keep on saying what your life like. You're not living that what your life like anymore. Facts. Hitman. <laughs> you better bring it. Mm -hmm. There should be no fighting. There should be no pushing. There should be no fucking touching. There shouldn't be none of that bullshit. It's okay to see some rags flying, flying in the air. See some red flags flying in the air. See some true flags flying in the air. I don't know. That's what I want to see. I do want to see them all in their face, each other's face, barking at each other. That's what I want to see. But niggas be getting in their feelings. You know that old saying? I don't know. Niggas just need to be getting... Get out their feelings. I guess words hurt sometimes. But if you're getting your feelings because somebody called you a punk, bitch, pussy in the round, or you shouldn't be doing this shit. Because if you wanted to fight, you should have went stuck with boxing. If you want to shoot him up, bang, bang. You know, shoot him up, bang, bang. Crap. Crap. Kaboom. You can do that. They should have stayed gang members. 
in the streets. So I expect this to be. I want this to be bigger than Hollow and motherfucking Lux. And when it does, URL will be back. And you know what's going to happen? He's still going to stick with the same price. If not, he might charge y'all niggas. Just because y'all wanted to see what he was about. Y'all didn't want to afford it. Come on, bro. The Midwest movement helped y'all niggas out too. It just wasn't the East Coast niggas. This down south movement is helping y'all niggas right now. Not these East Coast niggas. Facts. So, with that motherfucking said, this is capology. I'm always bringing the knowledge because I study battle rap. Let's go.